In this video, I want to show you how to see AI traffic in your Google Analytics 4. And as the uh, AI is getting better and the search is getting better, you're going to get some traffic to your website through these AIs like ChatGPT or Bing. That's why it's important that you know how to see that traffic coming to your website. If it's getting bigger and bigger, maybe you can optimize for them. Hello, data people. I'm Robert from Clicks the Lie, and I'm here to help you analyze and understand data to make better decisions in e-commerce. So let's get started by just going to your Google Analytics 4. And here, if you go in reports, you need to just find the acquisition report. And here we have traffic acquisition. So if you click on that one, so if you scroll down here, you can come and let's take referral. So just filter by referral and then click then hit enter from here. What we need to do is just add here source. So type source and then here you see session source. So let's select that one. Now you can see that this website has some um, AI traffic. You have here ChatGPT, Perplexity. You might have some other ones, especially if you have a, web, a bigger website. Uh, and it's important that we start categorizing these uh, AIs. Now, but let's be honest, it's a little annoying that you have to every time click around and do all of these steps. What if instead you could just click one button, it would show this report. You can achieve this three different ways. I'll start with the two easiest. And then the third one is the proper way I would do it. But it requires that uh, your kind of organization is also um, yeah, they're on board with that. So if somebody else is, uh, you know, in charge of your data, make sure you check with them before you do the third method. So let's start with the first method, which is basically just using the library feature in GA4. So if you scroll down here, you have library. And if you don't have that one, then you might not have the rights to do this. In this case, just wait for the second option there with any rights, you can achieve the same result. Okay. And then scroll down. And you have a bunch of reports here. So what we need to do is just type acquisition. And I ha have here a few different ones. So I'll just choose the one that I think is the real one. Uh, I'll just choose this one. And if I click on these three dots, make a copy. I'm going to call it AI traffic. And I'll just um, make sure it's sessions and then save. And now if I click again on the three dots, I can edit this one. Next, let's take a look. I actually don't want these graphs for my report, so I'm gonna just disable it. Just click on this eye icon, just removes it. And if I scroll down, I have now this, uh, it's a channel group, it's default channel groups. That's how it's sorted. But actually, if I click on dimensions, I wanna make sure that source is selected. So here's source. So I drag it up here and also I'll make it, it as default like that. And then when you apply it, you'll notice it also applies it here. But that's not enough. We need to add a filter. So if you click on the filter and from here, click on filter again and then search for source. Again, we're looking for that session source. So session source. And then from here, uh, let's make sure we choose matches regex. And then I have this value, which is basically just the top three AI tools that they're out there. So that's basically the ChatGPT, Perplexity and Gemini by Google. And I'll add this value to the description of this video. So just grab it there. You, I have those there. If you need to add more things here, just you come to the end here, then type pipe sign and then type your uh, AI tool. So like this. So I, all the time, uh, separate them by pipe sign and pipe sign just means or. So let's remove that. We don't need it. We just want to have those three and then apply. Now it will just filter by those three AI sources. And you can see right now, I don't have anything from Gemini. It's these two. All right, that's good. Now I can save this. Save to the current report. And then let's go back. And now here we have, notice how I have our shop here. And also if I go to acquisition, it's under our shop. So that's what I need to go. I need to go inside this collection. So let's go edit. And now I can search here for AI traffic. That's the uh, report we just created. And I'll just drag it in here. So I have first the traffic acquisition and then I'll drag it here. Let's say it will be the last one. Now, just keep in mind, if you do this, it will be updated for everybody that's using GA4, which is not a big problem. But if somebody else is responsible for it, just double check that this is OK so that um, they're aware of this. But anyway, let's add it there. And then if you uh, you just click on the save button so that it's, it gets updated. Now scroll up. Let's go back. So if we go now to any report. So here I'm in reports. Let's go to acquisition. You'll notice the AI traffic session is there. So if I click on it, 
there you go so now every time you go to ga4 you can just come here and click on this one button and you'll see the traffic that's coming from ai sources by the way if you're struggling with ga4 and it just doesn't make any sense but you still need it at work then stop wasting your time just join my five-day email course of ga4 where i actually just uh, take you through the most important reports uh, specifically for e-commerce I'll go through the most important reports, metrics, and dimensions so that you understand what GA4 is all about. You can sign up by clicking on the first link in the video description. So first of all, let's take a look how to do this in explorations because that's uh, less permanent, let's say this way. So you just come here, let's open a new tab. And from here, let's go to explore and you can just create a new blank uh, report. Just quickly to explain the explorations, you have three columns here. You set the variables. The second one, you set the settings. And then here on the right, you'll see the results. So first of all, we'll just select the dimension. In this case, it will be and then just type in session and then default. So first of all, we need the default channel group. Make sure it's the session one. And then we just need the source. So again, so session source, that's what we want. Confirm. And now in the metrics, just add session. Here, sessions, confirm. And now you can double click on the session source and also session. And now you see some data here. We need to filter out so that we don't see all the sources. We just wanna see for referral of traffic. So from here, what we can do is add a filter and we just say the default channel group and it exactly matches referral here. Referral, apply. So you can see that we have here ChatGPT and perplexity. So this report will be saved in your account uh, like by, by default. So you can always just come here. You can add more dimensions to it. And this way you have a quick way to see how much AI, how much of an AI traffic you're getting. If you're not happy with this bar chart, you could also just come here and click on the line chart and then you'll see it more over time. But this is a little bit uh, maybe too much stuff going on. So what we can do here, we can add another another filter where we say session source and then we can say select match type. In this case, we're going to say matches matches regex. And then I just have this short uh, regex uh, string and you can copy it. It will be in the video description below. Basically, it has the most popular AIs and the websites they might be coming from. So you can just grab it. Those are the big three I've added. So apply. And now you can see that the data will be only for your ChatGPT perplexity and also G Gemini from Google. So this is how easy it would be. And this report is also saved into your account. So you, every time you don't need to re reset this. It's a, you set it once and then you can come and just view it. Now we could also name this, let's say AI traffic like this. So now it's just saved there. Anytime you go to explore, there's a list of uh, reports. Now, the other way to do this and to have it a bit more permanent, I would even say, you can go to admin section and you can basically just add a new channel group. Now, if you have a bigger organization, I would definitely check with whoever, whoever is responsible for data if this is okay to do. But I just want to show you that it's maybe the easiest way to include it so that you don't, um, that it would be just part of the channel groups. So from here, you just come and on the left, we can say data display and we have channel groups. So you would again, just come here and click on these three dots, copy to create new, and we can call this default channel group plus AI like this. And then what we need to do is add a new channel and we call this AI traffic. So like this, and then let's add a condition. Again, the condition will be exactly the same as before. We say just source. And from here, uh, matches regex and add it like this. If at any point you want to add uh, more things to this, remember to add this pipe sign and then you add your, your AI.com. And don't end this uh, string in, uh, in, in another pipe sign. Otherwise, you'll just take everything into, uh, you know, into account. Basically, the pipe sign means or, and it needs to be between uh, your um, strings, so between the different AIs, so like this. So I don't need this, so let's remove it and then click on apply. And from here, this is all we need. We can say save channel, and then we need to click on the reorder. This is important to do because if you don't reorder it, uh, the AI traffic will just go directly into the referral. So just drag it. It's sometimes a little bit difficult, especially on Firefox. It doesn't always work properly, but here you go. Just drag it to the top and then click on apply. And the good thing is that this applies retroactively to your data. So you, you don't need to wait for this to work. So now if we go to any report, so from here reports, and if I just find acquisition, traffic acquisition, 
And from here, we could say default channel group plus AI. If I select that one, you see I have some AI traffic and now it's grouped in one chunk. This way it's just easier to analyze things and it, it just shows up there. Okay, now you know how to see AI traffic in your GA4, but if you use Google Linux 4, it's default reports and metrics, they don't just make sense and you're just wasting your time by using reports that are useless. That's why I created the, the video here in the top right corner where I'll go through the most important reports for e-commerce specifically in GA4.